god. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could uh, not use the Lord's name in vain, but we're, pl we're playing E.T. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Stephen Hilger. Hi. And oh. <laughs> Someone else is here. Okay. Hi, I'm Brendan. Brendan Bigley. Uh, we're both from Pixelitis. Pixelitis.net. What are we uh, doing, Steve? Well, Brendan, uh, known for its extreme multiplayer value, <laughs> we, we've, <laughs> plug, we've, we've plugged in uh, E.T. Uh, in case you didn't know, recently uh, we, uh, they've discovered a massive um, pile of E.T. cartridges in a landfill in New Mexico. Where in New Mexico is it again? In the city. Roswell. Roswell. Yeah, so <laughs> Roswell. Uh, it's though. It's a big rumor for a while, but it's been confirmed that uh, this game is actual garbage. Um, and uh, it's often referred to as the worst game of all time. That's a pretty hefty label there, so Brendan and I are going to dig right in and, and see how bad it truly is. Yeah, we're going to see, like, I, to me, I feel like it might be unfair to call this, the like, the worst game of all time. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, it's it can't be bad enough that you'd need to fill a landfill with it. You know what I mean? Like, well, nothing is that bad, really. Right? I think the reason why it's often number one on, on worst game of all time list is that it caused, uh, or... It is linked to the video game crash of the uh, late 80s? Late 80s? Yeah. Before my time. Oh, I guess early 80s. 1982, Atari. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry about that. So we're just going to say the 80s. Um, so, yeah. So this game got, you know, a ton of, uh, I guess, marketing behind it. I think they wanted this game to be a big deal to kind of follow the movie's success. And as we know now, usually when a game is based on a movie it doesn't normally right. work out right. there's they a few exceptions they didn't know that in the beginning I know so enough about that uh, we're gonna d dive right in not a bad title screen no we're um, playing the ET music I, I think that that face probably took like a very long night for, <laughs> for somebody <laughs> they, yeah, some dude and they definitely started with the eyes cause the mouth is just a little anyway <laughs> alright let's just dump alright so I guess we're in the, the woods so, okay, so here we are, uh, now, okay. What are, what is that counter at the bottom? It seems to be, whenever I move around, I'm... It goes down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I lose... We've fallen into a pit. We've fallen into a pit. Now, I've seen videos of this game being played before, so I know that, and I guess one would know this if they bought the game, uh, the goal is for E.T. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ah! What? What? Oh, God. Stop. What? Wait, he got you. Can you escape from him? Whoa. Hey, what are you doing there? Wow. All right, so I have no fucking clue what just happened. Excuse my language, but that was... What is going on? Oh, get away from that guy. Question mark. So I'm trying to figure... Oh! <laughs> You fell into a pit again. I found something. So you got an item. From what I remember, uh, I love his walking animation. Yeah, by the way. it's, <laughs> it's just the it's feet. really great. <laughs> it's just like so, a paddle. <laughs> I know that you're supposed to find parts of his ship. Oh, really? Yeah. So okay. that's the go. I think what we were in. So you're not going in completely blind to this game, then? No, I mean I've never played it, and I only know the basic idea. I know that it, it involves falling into holes a lot. Um, How did you fly out before? I honestly can't tell you. Like right now, I'm uh, I'm playing this uh, with the Xbox remote, and I am pushing every button possible. Last time, <laughs> so wait, so you had to find a sweet spot or something. Well, press A. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who want to, you know, oh, what? <laughs> All right. So a little bit of backstory. Uh, you know, I don't have much Atari experience, but literally moments before uh, Brent and I were playing Centipede, and, you know, that game's a classic, and even though it's very primitive in its graphics and it's, you know, everything, I can totally see why it was huge. Like, it gives you, like, a clear visual and, like, Ugh. audio kind of feel on the impact that you're shooting an enemy. You know what's happening. I have no clue when I'm going to fall down. Yeah, it looks you know, like, like even, like, a... 
one pixel of ET hits one of the holes. Like this, like See? I literally didn't move. <laughs> yeah. Like what the hell? Okay. And I'm losing a lot of points. All right, so... Jesus. I'm really curious to see, like, do you get a game over? <laughs> what the heck? So, oh, you know, maybe I should... All right, so already... Do you get a game over when you run out of those points at the bottom? Or just assuming that those are points. Man. Even. Can the... you continue to fly past there? I'm honestly, like, for people watching, like, <laughs> <laughs> I am not, like, you know... Dilly dallying for comedy's sake. This is actually <laughs> what's happening. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we'll see about the game over. Uh, I mean, I feel like I already lost. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now I c can you imagine, like, you know, I mean, obviously it's easier to laugh at this game now because of just everything about it. Can you imagine just getting this when it came out? The movie had just been out and, like, Really excited to, jeez, I don't know what to do here. Well, I imagine it probably came with some kind of set of instructions. Yeah, Fingers it did. crossed, maybe? Well, yeah. usually, I mean, pretty much bef for a while, I mean, even, like, you know, I grew up, man, oh, I literally can't even, like, have small talk with you because I'm so frustrated. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell am I doing wrong? Do we just start over? Is that... I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know what... What is wrong with this? This is so bad. Maybe. Now, what is this? Like, what? Can E.T. fly? Is that a thing? I, apparently. I know there's the scene where he's in the bike. and. Well, know, yeah, right. Yeah. Now, okay, so flying costs a lot of points. Even just hanging out when you're flying. Man. So maybe, maybe just... Maybe just fly. And then... Run out of points. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then this we'll is just, we'll just wear the clock out. This is literally unplayable. Because that makes for what great. What the heck? All right, yeah. That makes for great. Yeah, you know, okay, yeah. So let's. <laughs> so in terms of in terms of instruction manuals, we don't have. Man, one. this is <laughs> clearly. Look at this existential this ET <laughs> hovering in a pit. Oh. That's a little warning. At least the game gives you a warning. Yeah, I like that ET is not even the right color. Yeah, he's like puke yellow. Yeah. Oh, man. So, normally, you know, if you're going to make a game about a movie, you know, what's the movie known for? So, E.T. E.T. already isn't a good candidate to make a game off of because, like, he doesn't really do it. Like, you know, I, mean, I haven't seen E.T. in a while. All I know is that he's constantly running away from things. What? What? Did you just turn into a chicken for a second? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Wait, it just keeps going backwards? It just keeps. Brendan, this is horseshit. So let's. Can we, do we stop? Do we no, stop no, that's again? that's the cowards. We gotta, we gotta. Oh, oh, oh. Steve, you did it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh God, you're back in the woods. Oh look. So okay, so there the, was an arrow that was telling you to go up. So the yeah, so the arrows. And you got I guess, I guess you're playing horse. <laughs> yeah, I don't. All right, so this guy we want to. Oh God. God damn it. Think. Now, I don't know what... I think that's supposed to be Elliot. Elliot, right? Yeah. But, like, what is... What do I turn into? And why is he... Oh, my God. At least I didn't lose my E when I... When I... Die? <laughs> when I run out of points? All right. So, yeah. Basically, what I was saying with instruction manuals, I feel like, you know, up until recently, like, you kind of had to read instructions for a game to learn how to play. I mean, I remember even... Uh, you know, like being eight years oh, old and getting ah shit no what? Yes. Oh, you did it! Nice. I got rid of them. I got I got them off me. Um, I'm wondering. Uh, like... Oh, Elliot. Okay. Oh, so is E Elliot? Oh, maybe. I don't know. So so here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're falling into <laughs> holes in the forest, right? God. But there are no clearly. To find holes in the forest. Yeah, and I have no clue. Which is bumming me out. I have no clue, like, like... So, already the game... I mean, there's so many problems here, it's hard to even begin. To, <laughs> like, you know... The biggest thing is that this this whole game is built on trial and error. Like, you, you have no intuitive way to know how to do any of this shit. Right, like, how would you know that <laughs> when, <laughs> when you end up on that... What? Ooh. What? 
All right, so that was game over. I guess it was. Now there's a, a cryptic Freemason shape on the top <laughs> of the screen. And a three. And on a the three. Bottom. All right. You might have to give it another go. Yeah, of course. Okay. We'll, s we'll switch off here. I'll go down. I'll, I'll try going down this time because you went up before. Okay. So this this seems to be the. I mean, I'm not even gonna. The like home screen. The home screen. Now. Are those arrows supposed to be telling so, you to go left or right? I don't think so. Oh. Oh, there's that guy. Uh, question mark. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. oh God. Okay. Yeah, so, uh... What is interesting, right? Yeah. So, looking at a lot of Atari games, most of them are like Centipede, or Missile Command, or games like that, which are just, like, arcade games. You know yeah. What I mean, it's like, it's just a skill-based, like, basically, uh, score chase game. It doesn't look like that's what this is, unless this is, like, a how long can you stay away from those guys game. It seems a little bit more... So like adventure, if that makes sense, you know what I mean. I, I think that like they're attempting. At yeah, I think not that doing a score chase game. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that this game was attempting to have a bit more uh, meat on it than the typical Atari shooter, but like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Are I'm you in, going to jail? now. I'm in Rome. What the hell is going on? Where am I? I don't know. Go to the house. Ah. Right? Get out. So, no... <laughs> All right, I have this weird feeling that you're supposed to get caught. Right? Like, you're supposed to get caught and end up on that blue screen. So that's, that's the end of this game. You have no clue what you're supposed to do, and you don't, you don't have any way of defending yourself. Now, to say, whoever... Those weird detectives are actually oddly... You know, they look pretty good for Atari, I have to say. Like, right? I was thinking models, that, too. Yeah. Especially compared to what E.T. looks yeah, like. Yeah, E.T. looks like... Like, like, a strange fetus. Yeah, I know everyone always jokes about that game Adventure on Atari. Oh. And, like, the dragon and how it looks Alright, like so there seems to be, like, a detective, and then there's this, like, guy with a lab coat and a baseball cap. I'm trying, ah, to, I'm trying to follow. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there you go. See, like, I wouldn't mind the game. half of an e. I think what they're... <laughs> this is a game that I suppose they're trying to, like, value exploration. But <laughs> value it by deterring you from doing it at any Get cost. Me. Is what it seems. There's no. God damn it! <laughs> no. What if I just stay here? <laughs> okay. You know what this game is like. What? You know the Greek myth of Sisyphus. No. <laughs> so enlighten me. So for those of you who don't know your Greek mythology, there is a tale of a man named Sisyphus who is punished by the gods. And his punishment was he had to push this large boulder up a hill, and every time it got to the top, the boulder would fall down again. And he had to do this for eternity. Mm. I was going to say this is like That's Prometheus. literally this game. <laughs> this game is pushing something up a hill that you can't even see. This is worse, because you don't even know. Like At least Sisyphus knows, all right, I got to do this. Yeah, I got to do this. Right now, I have no clue what to do. Who this lab coat? Who this noir protagonist is? Yeah, I have Humphrey Bogart and a kid in a lab coat chasing me. <laughs> Man, and then this. Why does his neck stick out? All right, there you go. I kind of like ah, but it kind of says something about. See if you can go down from here. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. No, that makes sense. What? So I guess this is the edge of the map. Well, they're uh, both the edge of the map. So what, <laughs> what happens when I... Oh, sh oh. What? Okay, so that... the Humphrey Bogart takes your stuff, and this guy puts you in here. Oh. See, now there's an arrow pointing down. So, yes, yeah, since I don't have any stuff, he's... He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Oh. I guess this is where they... Steve, we're learning. I, uh... <laughs> I, I like this interaction. Just like yeah, this is this is this is, this is what I imagine like in The Sims when you fast forward time. It's like fish flush is fun. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> His jobs is right, does that fucking fetus have anything on him? I'm gonna take it. Now he's, he's fine. Go, he has go, half an e on him. Go back to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, left. Let's let's trot right. See now it's telling you to go right. Now it's just no, no, no. Where you should be going. This is a haunted GPS. Uh, make a left. Oh, oh. my god. 
now in a pit, recalculating. <laughs> Your destination is in, in the, the pit. pit. <laughs> <laughs> this game is the pits. Get it? I do, I get it. Now this is, for me, the worst part of this game is the fact that, like... Oh, man. Whether or not you get out of the pit and instantly fall, like that's completely up to whatever DD controls this game. Yeah, just whatever fucking random mechanic. Man. It really is like you touch a pit with a pixel of his like head and you're in. It's not like where his feet go. Right, right. You know? Ooh. Okay, so left. Right. No, I'm not gonna go right, because Humphrey Bogart's chasing me. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. Don't play that song. Ah, ah! Those arrows are supposed to be telling you to do. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Now look at that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Steve. I don't get what it. What the hell is wrong with this game? Has no. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare because nothing makes sense. Like nothing logically connects. You know, like I'm here. And now I'm back here. I'm here. I'm back here. It loops in one area. Yeah. I'm trying to like map this out in my brain. And what's Humphrey? Humphrey doing? Bogart is stuck. <laughs> I guess these are trees? I think they're supposed but to be But we're trees. on top of them. Now what's that? What does that mean? What? Ooh. What do I... That uses a lot of points. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's go up. Let's go right. Oh, uh, left. Uh, what? See, I think this is just supposed to be like... You're eat Oh, fuck, dude. <gasps> Elliot. <sighs> Elliot dresses Ness. Yeah, this the black hat this on. game is far from Earthbound, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. So when you do the neck thing, you can hover over those holes, is what it seems like. Ooh! What was that? I, juke? I <laughs> was that a Madden juke? I scurried away with a little bit of a jingle there. Uh, now I guess, I guess you have to go in the pits to find shit, but there's no way to know which pit has anything. So is that the game then? Is you have to fall into all the pits? <laughs> find, find I the pieces. I think that's the game. I think that I mean this is this is really horrible, man. It's you know, I've rough. played I played uh, you know the other games that are usually on the list are like uh, uh, Bubsy 3D and Superman 64. I played Superman right, 64. Yeah. yeah, I did too. And I mean that game is just like it's ugly and it's got horrible controls, but at least you have a idea of what to of, do. Yeah, what's supposed to be It's happening. just impossible. This game... Like... <laughs> you know, why doesn't he fall down? <laughs> and where? what is with this ancient Greece stuff? No, don't take my one thing I have. So fall into these pits, I guess. Yeah, alright. Right, yeah, nothing in there. Why is there a one all the way on the left? That's, I think it's my life. So I'm gonna so die is soon. This it? Is this it? Like, game over? Yeah, that sounds like a death screen. Man. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm gonna try to do something here, and then I'm gonna hand it off to Brendan so he can feel my pain. <laughs> this is horrible. Like, is that little pixel a hole? Oh, ooh, ooh, we're rolling in it. See, I actually get excited when I find new stuff. Yeah, so you found a whole E. <laughs> now, you have two But the thing is, e. like. So is that, wait, can you tell me if that little pixel is a hole? There's no, like, this game is entirely luck. Oh my god. Like, there's no way to know where to go, unless it, it seems to randomize where the things are. Or at is least... That <laughs> I think that that, I think that that Man. chicken thing... Here, alright, now I'm handing it off to Brendan. Right. I want to take a, take a moment and get over what just happened. Okay. E. So, first, I think that that white chicken thing is a dead E.T. Lying on the ground. Oh, so next God. time you see it, I think I think you'll see what I mean. That's morbid. Because remember, like remember in the movie when he's lying on the slab and they're like doing all the tests on him and he's white and he's dying. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, that's what it reminds me of at least, and that's how I feel also. At least I feel like <laughs> I mean this is just so like I don't know what like the idea here was. But I'm thinking like how to make an even worse CT game. I think at least it's not, <laughs> so why? at least it's not like. 
you know, I feel like the worst thing to do would be like Elliot and have an escort quest where like E.T. could get hurt or something. Yeah, yeah. But even then, at no, least... No, but like that would be like a cool score chase game where like you're on the bike... You know, and you have to like avoid cops and stuff. Yeah, that would. And that ET's would be in the cool. basket in that's, the front. That's probably what they should have done. That's probably what they should have. At done. a meeting, there are probably two executives. One was like, "Okay, ET was a big success. You know, video games are the new thing. Let's make an ET video game. You know, we've been we've been fans of sci-fi for a yeah. while. Why don't we do that? How about we, uh, you know, have him. Uh, you play as Elliot, and you have to save E.T. No, how about you fall in holes, <laughs> and you have to build an E, and Humphrey Bogart's there. <laughs> well, this is, like, direct from Steven Spielberg. Come on, push start. You can't delay it. This uh-huh, is, wait, no. this is, Steven Spielberg was involved in this game? He picked the guy that made this game. So, the, I forget the guy's name. Here, come on. I'll Dive pop right it, in. We'll pop we it up talk. on the screen. So, that's his ship. I think right, that's safe definitely. to assume. The hot pink, right. translucent ship. I'm gonna go down first. And I'm gonna fall into this hole. Okay. Alright, there's nothing in the hole. You're a pro, man. I'm impressed. Oh. Oh, so far, <laughs> no good. <laughs> Alright, wait. Yeah, nice. Okay, alright. So you're, you're, uh, surveying the... Yeah, there you go. Fuck this game. <laughs> um, so the guy that made this game also made, uh... The oh there it is. Nice. Made the Raiders of the Lost Ark game. Oh, like the point click? Maybe maybe not Raiders of the Lost Ark. No, it's it was another Indiana Jones. Oh uh, no. It Get was out. it was another uh fucking oh, movie game. God. So did he take my E away? No, he just brings me back there. The the oh, okay. I think he's supposed to be a detective or something. Wasn't there a detective in the movie? Or like Yeah. I don't know. I think that's what he's supposed to be. Um, another Indiana Jones. It might have not. It might have been Raiders of the Lost Ark, but uh, he was like, "Hey, that came out really great. I want you to make the ET game." Like this was direct from Steven Spielberg. Yeah, he just took your shit. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh fuck, he did. Yeah, come on, like as if it's not hard enough to find the stuff in the holes without running out of points. This guy, who you can't outrun. A happy wait, wait. Look at that. I can't pick ha- it up. A happy face. Try pushing A on it or something. No, no, go back, go back down. <laughs> See how it goes, like, as a happy face? Yeah. Thing? What does that mean? What is it? Is it bacon or something? I don't know. I, there's no other buttons I can press. Wow, this game is bogus. Oh! What? <laughs> I think I just made the flower bloom. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, this game is horrible. You know, like I knew, like I knew it was gonna be bad. Yeah, here's the thing. Like I was, I didn't know that it was gonna be bad. I I thought that like maybe it was just like an unfair <laughs> judge of this game. <laughs> you know that that everyone yeah. just like said, oh, it's the worst game ever, but like it really wasn't. I think it might be the worst game ever. Steve. Certainly, like one of the worst I've played. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I really don't like... <laughs> There's no hole on that screen. I'm trying to think of other like really bad games I've played. I mean, I owned... Uh, the worst game I owned was uh, Beetlejuice for the NES. Which um, I haven't played. It's made by the infamous LJN. Oh my and, god. Uh, yeah, that game... I mean, even that game, though, it's got some cool music. There's no music in this game. <laughs> Well, I guess Atari, that's not uncommon. But. Right. I mean, it has the theme song on Do-do. the whole yeah, that's thing, true. Which is, which, like, amazing. Which isn't bad. It's not a bad... Well, it's, like, a, I, to me, it's just, like, amazing that they did that. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, the, the title screen's not... Oh, my God, Steve. <laughs> no, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is killing me. And in case you... Oh. And see, like, that, like, right there... If, let's say you had all the pieces, yeah. he Wait, popped I, out of nowhere. There was a pixel there that was the same color as the hole, and I walked over it and I picked it up, and now I have a one. So what does that mean? Oh, maybe that's another thing I should collect. But see how that guy like popped out of nowhere? Yeah. There's no warning? If you had all those pieces and he hit you, he would have taken them all. Right. God. Down. Now what is... Now who is this guy? What is he supposed to be? I think he just is like... He a doctor? Well, let's see if he takes oh. away that one. No, he just brings you back to the to the to area, to Rome. He brings you back to ancient Greece, thus mirroring Sisyphus even more. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I would oh, wait. Let me see no get that get get it, get it. Oh, yeah, he took it. He oh, took did it. he? Yeah. See how you have nothing there anymore? Yeah. Fuck, oh dude. man. 
This game is brutal. No, get away. I don't have anything. I think this, I mean, even with the horrible mechanics yeah. and everything, yeah. all it needs is just, like, an ability ET has either to run faster or to, like... Well, you, you know, did that. You scurried away. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> oh, my God. Where was that hole, even? You're asking... Yeah, like, how... Oh, there's a dot. No, get it, get it. I have two. two. Oh, see, it's, this is two now. No. 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 Oh, oh fuck God. God. And no, he... and now this guy... I can't, Steve. <laughs> I can't do this. So, the guy who designed this game, the other games he made, are they any good? But is Raiders Lost Ark? I, I remember hearing I don't know that. if it's... I don't know, man. I, I haven't played it, but, like, Steven Spielberg was like, this game is this shit. I remember hearing that he did, like, an, a lot of other good stuff. Or a lot of good stuff. Because yeah. this isn't good stuff. This so isn't good stuff. So, I don't want to... He didn't even touch me. He just took my one away. He just took my one. Man, this game's because like we finally figured out kind of what to do, and guess, like the yeah. game's just not. See, look, he just, let, shows, yeah, up he just shows up and then oh you're in God. a hole again. <laughs> no, get away from me, Humphrey. Wow, Humphrey Bogart's brutal. He's a dick, honestly. Yeah, and he can walk over holes. I think he's stuck right now. But he took my one. Now I have a one again. You know, See, like, why steps. did I show up in the middle of yeah, that tree? Yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense. Down. The arrow might as well not even, like... I wonder if there's someone watching that... Fuck this. I wonder <laughs> if there's someone watching this that, like, has played this game and knows exactly what we're supposed to be doing and is so frustrated. I can't... I think even if you know exactly what to do, the game doesn't allow you to, like, do it that successfully. It's all random. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the Humphrey Bogart will pop out of nowhere... Take your stuff. Immediately, as soon as you get something. Yeah. As soon as you get oh, something. Oh, wait, and do you lose it when Ellie brings you back? No. Oh, that's... At least you have that. And that's definitely what that, what that chicken is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those reflexes on I'm ET. A, I think I'm a pro now. <laughs> is that what I mean? You know what would be fun? What? Playing as the pits. <laughs> <laughs> waiting. No. Waiting for ET to fall on you. All right. Steve, I think I'm done. You're done? I All think right. I'm done with ET. Uh, I, I, think, I think we've proven. <laughs> oh. No, yeah, I'm what's the flower? flower? It's happy. I have three. Is that like the one glimmer of hope in this game? I guess. All right, well. That's, that's probably a fitting way to end it. <laughs> the one shard of light. That well, exists. finish your points, then we'll call it, we'll call it quits. Okay. But, I'm uh. Trying to get out of this pit there. Oh, in. can you do it? And there he is. Oh. God damn it. Oh. Wait, let's see if he's... I want to see the game over screen before we end the, the dead E.T. I have four. You have four? Oh, wow, okay. So, now, okay. what are the other pieces? So, you've been getting, like, the E... Now, what does that mean? I don't e. know. It's just, like... That was, like, a loud E. E! Is <laughs> 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 Yeah, don't play that song, Sam. Um... Oh. oh fuck, dude! Like, <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Oh, jeez. There's really no. Like, how do I know how many lives I have left? Also. I think you're. <sighs> I have five now. Oh. You're, I think you're five now. Oh, Jesus. Well, I think we can potentially beat this man. <laughs> you need to. You need to. That guy's all right. He's just gonna bring you to Rome. Oh, no, he took all my numbers. But be careful because... No, the... he showed up because I... I... Oh, he dragged... Oh, yeah. man. No, oh, just kill me. Kill me now. Right? Honestly. This is Sisyphus. This game is a Greek tragedy. There's... There's nothing... There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Except die. <laughs> that's why that's why I compare this more to Prometheus, where every single day he wakes up and, and ravens come and they chew at his insides and then he, he dies and he goes to sleep and he wakes up and then they chew at his insides. You know what the worst part is? This is the kind of game that like gives you this like All because we tried to fucking give fire to people. This game gives you this like burning desire to beat it. 
And I, <laughs> I, I, really gu- I guarantee that beating this game is not worth it. Like, what? You get a awesome cutscene. <laughs> you know, the game probably just flips you off. They give you, yeah, they give you a free VHS of the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to rewind it, though. Yeah. yeah it uh, doesn't come through. No. Uh. Oh. oh, he left. Oh. Maybe you grunt loud enough at the TV. Oh, the flower. Nice. Walk up to it. Isn't the smile one last time? Yeah. Oh, happy. All right. All right, well, use your remaining steps. I think how, I'm, I I'm going to die again, and then he's going to bring me back for some reason. I don't know how. The, you want to pass out next to the flower? <laughs> think, is that the game over your screen? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Oh, God, that, ill. Oh. He's like That's bleeding. Daddy. Oh. All right. Uh. So <laughs> what's the what's the verdict, Brendan? Uh, the worst verdict. game of all time. Maybe on. Let me be real. Maybe not, but it's definitely probably the most frustrating game I've played. Yeah, I would say so. I think there's like, other than the strange desire it gives you to beat it. And to, and to yeah. figure it out. It's like looking at hieroglyphics and being like, yeah. what, what does it mean? Yeah, like, I, I just understood what it means to be an archaeologist, you know? <laughs> like, like to uh, look hey, at something and be like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to figure out the origins imagine, of this thing. Imagine <laughs> digging this game up in New Mexico to seeing yeah. thousands of... I mean, in this game was... I kind of wish they left it in the landfill, so like... 300, 400 years from now, some guy could dig it up. And this is all and that put it into Yeah, and put it into an Atari and, like, try and figure out how to play this game. Like, fuck, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, Man, yeah, with this, all of his infinite wisdom. Well, this game... So this game is horrible. Uh, and that's the verdict. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's pretty bad, honestly. It's pretty terrible. But it's, it's like... It's... it's in, I think it's important for everyone to play this. I think everyone, if you're watching this and you haven't played E.T., Give it a shot, yeah, and you will truly know pain. Yeah. Because I think nothing can be as frustrating and as unforgiving as this game. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe there is something out there that's equally cryptic, but yeah. this game is is bogus. Absolute, absolute trash. That's that's my, that's my <laughs> right off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just call this Atari's Dark Souls, and then, and then we'll leave yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see any, uh, let's see, actually, fun, fun, uh, Yell at me in the comments. That. Yell, <laughs> yell at Brandon in the comments and say how the, that this game is better than Dark Souls. Uh, it is. Anyway. It is. It is better than Dark Souls. Thank you for watching and sharing our pain. Uh, worst <laughs> game of all time. We give it two thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> Dude. No. No. Uh, we, uh, anyway. That's... I gotta turn off this music. Yeah, this is <laughs> gonna haunt me. me for forever. Uh, I'm anyway. Brandon Bigley from Pixelitis.net. And I'm Stephen Hilger. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Hell yeah.